Hey guys, Noah here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then hey, welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to kind of do like a vlog style video. I don't usually do that, but I'm really excited to try it out today. Some of you guys may know, some of you guys may not, but I've been dealing with aphids like pretty badly in my home and I've been dealing with it for like about a year, I would say, like since I first discovered them. They'll like disappear for a couple weeks and then show up again. It's just been a struggle. I've thrown out a lot of plants due to them. Like I'll quarantine the plants that have them and then somehow they'll like end up on a plant like five rooms away so i don't really understand it i've just been pretty lax about treating the plants that have them but now i'm being very very strict about it so i'm going to show you guys what i do to kind of deal with my aphid situation um, i do have a few updates in my on my plants that i'll kind of give you sneak peeks about besides that i'm mainly going to be just trying to treat the plants with aphids I also hey guys so as i'm editing this video i just wanted to pop in and give one more thing that i didn't talk about in the vlog because i didn't realize it on this day but after treating the aphids i found an easier solution and that is buying this product it's called bonide systematic houseplant insect control it's specifically for aphids whiteflies and other listed insects i guess i didn't really go through what other insects they list on here but um it's like a little i'll show you guys um little granules kind of like it looks kind of like sand and you sprinkle some, you follow the instructions of how much to do, you sprinkle some onto your house plant soil, and then you just water the plant and the water activates the granules and it got rid of uh, my aphids so what happened was i treated them which is the method you'll see in this video and it got rid of all the aphids like they never came back but i did find aphids in a whole nother room in my house so um i ended up trying this method instead of the first method because it's so hard to do that first method um, the one that you'll see in this video it just takes a lot of effort and i did it and they all went away within like a week so way easier method but um, a lot of people don't like to do stuff like this because it's not organic and i know you're not eating your house plants but some people still don't like to do like chemicals and stuff like that especially if you have like cats or dogs in your house you may not want to do this method um, i would have to do some research and see if it's safe for pets but um, i know some people just don't like doing that so and if you will just have a few plants you can definitely do the first method that i'm showing you guys in this video very easily but i just wanted to pop in and give you you guys like an easier solution if you are looking for some aphid control um but with that all being said let me know if you have any comments in the description in the comment section down below and i'll definitely go ahead and answer them but let's jump right back into the video sorry for having to pop in real quick i also did discover a few spider mites on some plants but luckily it was like before they was a huge infestation like they were just starting to get on the plant so it's not too too bad but before we get into the video i do want to share with you guys one thing and it's right in front of me right now so let me show you guys so this is my hoya bella right here and it's going to be my very first hoya that flowers you can kind of see i have no idea what color these blooms are going to be but i'm literally dying to see i check on this plant every day um it's doing really well so yeah i just can't wait to see what the flowers look like oh it's just gonna be so nice look at that i cannot wait to see so yeah i just wanted to show you guys that that is one of the few plants that's actually flowering um that i have a lot of my plants have not been flowering or anything and I haven't been taking great care of my plants to be honest with you like this one lost a ton of leaves and it's always dry for some reason like the leaves always dry off look at this dead leaves but like it's it's wet I don't know if I like I don't know what I'm doing wrong it probably needs um more humidity maybe but the leaves feel like they're they need water but I just watered it yesterday so, I don't know. But the new leaves look good. Um, what else is not looking great? This one, my heart leaf fern. I just suck at ferns. A lot of the leaves, like, dried up. But the new leaves are coming out really nice. It's just that I did not water it in time. So, we'll see what happens with that one. And then, what else is happening and over here that's not too great? I guess that's really it that's, like, not great. This needs more water. 
Let's do that. See, every time I look at my plants, I find stuff that like needs to be done, which is so annoying. But that's life, I guess. That should be better. What's happening here? Some dead leaves, that's not good. Very dry. I actually, you know what I need to do is, I'm gonna bring you guys with me to actually fertilize my plants. I use these just, you know, gallon water containers and I'm gonna make some fertilized water because this week I'm just watering with only fertilized water and then I'll go like a few weeks without it, without fertilized water and then a few weeks on it again. So yeah, let me show you guys what I do. So this is the, don't mind my dirty dishes, I'm sorry. This is the fertilizer I use and I'm gonna fill it up with some water from my sink and then I'll open this up and I use about, it says to use it to the first line for a gallon of water. This is a gallon, but I don't fill this up all the way. Like I just leave it to here. So I'm not gonna fill it up to the first line. I'm gonna do this a little bit less. And also it's, it's better to not over fertilize. And then I'll just drop it in there and it kind of turns the water green. Yeah, that should be good enough. And now we can water the plants. What else needs water? Probably this one. Put this down for a sec. I like to just lift the plants to see like how light or heavy they are to see if they need water. I don't really, that one does. I don't really use a moisture reader anymore. I used to. And I'm not really too worried about making a mess as well. Those should be good. Let's water some of these down here. More stuff here that might need some watering. That back there needs it. I'm gonna check on the rest of these plants later. I have some other plants that I need to treat. So let's go on over to my living room. All right, so I'm gonna take you to my living room right now. And I actually already put some plants outside that I know need like this. I don't know what I call this, like pest control treatment, but I do wanna check on some of my other plants that need, might need it. So this is where I've been finding a lot of the plants that have aphids. So I'm going to go through right now and kind of show you guys how I check. Um, I usually check the back of the leaves, but let me show you. All right, so what I do to check for aphids is I check the back of the leaves. They usually like to hang out here, like um, where the stem meets the leaf and then in like ridges. Um, when you see blemishes like this, that could definitely be aphid damage because they eat the, they eat the leaves. So looking at this big leaf right here, I don't know if you guys can see that little black dot, but that's definitely a little baby aphid um, or like an egg or something. That's what they look like. So this plant will need to get treated. It looks like it's only that one leaf which is pretty good, like it hasn't damaged any others. The good thing about Begonia maculatas is I have never found pests on it, so they stay away from this one. I don't know if it's like not yummy to them or what, but um, this one's probably gonna be fine. I just probably need to water it. And then the plant behind it is a Hawaiian pothos, which like these leaves have like no damage on them, so they look really good. But then this new leaf right here has some aphid eating damage. So I will check it. And I do see some little black dots. It's gonna be very, very hard for you to see on camera, but I do see some. Um, so they're just in the really small form. And I'm sure some of these have like bigger aphids. So hopefully we'll see one. I mean, not hopefully, cause I don't wanna see them, but just so you guys can kind of know. Um, this poor Hilo Beauty has a blemish right here. And that could definitely be from aphids. So let's see. Oh, look. There's an aphid walking. 
Do you see that little black dot near my finger? And you could tell that it's moving. That's an aphid. Ah, I literally hate these guys. So from what I'm seeing right now, just the two plants that I looked at, it looks like, oh, there's one too on this plant and near the stem where the stem meets the leaf. So it looks like all these plants are gonna need to be treated, which is so irritating, but I'm gonna take a few outside and show you guys what I do. So let's, oh wow, this one's like got a lot of aphids. So this is what like a kind of bad infestation looks like on this leaf. There's a ton of them. Like you can see all those little black dots. I literally hate them. They just ruin my life. All right, let's take these outside and then I'll tell you guys what I think. I'm gonna kind of take a few plants outside. And I have some plants outside that are already like healing from aphids. That elephant ear had some and then these plants over here had some aphids. It's basically going to be all the plants in my living room. These two have been through step one already of my treatment, but I'm going to put a pile here of the plants that I'm going to treat that need step one. And then those are all going to need step two. So let's just bring all my plants outside. All right guys, so I have all the plants from my living room out here and I'm going to start treating them. I have to turn on the faucet, the hose I guess. It's a lot easier to do this with plants with big leaves like this one. And basically all I do is I put it on like a strong setting, which for mine is on jet. There it is. And I attack the leaves like this. And then I clean the top and the bottom of each leaf. So I'm essentially gonna do that for all these plants right here. So let's get started. All right guys, I'm exhausted now. I just uh, washed them all off. Basically step one is washing all the plants because you just wanna get rid of like the physical aphids that are on the plant and then the eggs as well that they lay on the leaves. Um, and then after that, you're gonna spray it with neem. So I'm waiting for them to dry right now. They're all in the sun. I don't know if you guys could see that, but it's super hot today in Texas. It's like 99 degrees. So they should dry in like 20 minutes. And then after 20 minutes, I'll come back out here and I'll spray them all with neem. This is the neem that I use. I actually buy the concentrate. I find that to be more effective. This is what the bottle looks like. And I just fill up like an empty spray bottle with water and then I put a drop of the neem in. It turns into like this yellowy color. And then I'll just spray everything down. So I'll bring you guys along with me to do that in about 20 minutes. Oh my god, you guys. I just finished spraying them all down. They're drying now. 
I cannot express to you guys how hot it is out here. <sighs> I mean, like, I can't even breathe. It's so humid, you know? But I just got done and I'm really excited. I'm going to wait like 10 minutes for the neem to dry. A lot of the plants were looking really flimsy from being out in the sun. It was only like 30 minutes that I left them out here, but it's so hot in Texas, in Houston, so they are not faring too well. So I think another 10 minutes and then I'll bring them back inside. And right now during the 10 minutes, I will clean up the living room. So let's get started on that. guys so this is the final look this is the plant stand that i just built it's gonna be very hard to see because it is backlit but i love it if you guys do like it i will leave the link um in the description box it does what i need it to do i'm not like gonna be moving it around or it's not gonna get hit and it just needs to house some like light plants so and I mean, it is pretty sturdy, but yeah, I like it. And it's just a better way to organize all my plants for me to see them better than just being on the floor. I still have some on the floor, but it's not terrible. And yeah, that is it. Oh, and the pets. So I did go ahead and like take a close look at a lot of these. Like I know this one, for example, had aphids like where this hole is right here. And right now I am not seeing any aphids. Like you could see that brown hole on the right. This one right here. Um, normally it has black dots on it when it has aphids. And there's nothing right now. So I think that my method did work. And I'm going to keep checking in. Everything looks good. Normally you'd see like little black bugs walking around. And I don't see any signs of aphids on any of these plants. Oh, this one I didn't um, end up washing. This one just came from my plant room. Um, uh, this one definitely had aphids on it, the Syngonium elbow. Yeah, now there's nothing on any of these. So there's dirt on them because like I had flipped them upside down and, and watered them, but that's all dirt. So they all look good. It did, um, dam the neem I think damaged some of the leaves. So I definitely, have that and I think it's just because I gave it such an intense spray you could definitely be a lot more gentle but I didn't want to be I wanted this to be kind of one and done I really really don't want to have to go in and do this again with these plants I may have to do that I'm not gonna lie I'm just gonna keep checking today is day three after I did it and there's absolutely no aphids found yet if I even see one aphid on one plant I will probably just do them all again but for now, I think we are in the clear. I'll keep checking them and letting you guys know. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Leave some comments and I'll see you guys next time.